Welcome to Scoop School. In this episode, I will show you how you can generate your own Scoop Elks with the help of my new website, scoopschool.com. Um, I've created this website because over the past couple of years, I've created some programs related to Scoop that help me with stuff, and I want to make it public so everyone can use it. And I'll put, try to put all these programs on my website. So for generating Elks, we are going to use KSOF. And when you log, when you open the website, uh, the default is is a two by two file for generating two by two uh, elks. So we need skew text, and I have that right here. And when you press copy text, you can just paste that in here. And you can also do the other side. When you press go, the program will start generating elks. Here the setup was a sledge, so the output here is a hatch. So here are a couple options you should know about. So slack, that means that if the optimal is, for example, four moves, because we have slack one, it will search for five move elks as well. If you put it to zero, it will stop at four moves. And if you put two, then it will go to six. And max step means that the um, max move an elk is like to get is 11 moves. So we wouldn't search for 12 or 13 move elks. And here with the move limits, we can limit the amount of times a certain move can be in an elk. And we put L, F and rotations to zero because we don't want those in our elks. And here's scramble elk. Um, here you have to put a setup. But something that you really have to know is that it always tries to end up in the starting position of the of the setup. So here the setup is sledge. So it will try to end up in this position by doing a hatch. But if you would put a, a Z after it, so we do sledge and we rotate, then it will try to end up in this orientation um, by only doing R, B, R and B moves. But that is impossible. So then the program won't find any solutions. So you always have to make sure that your setup always ends in the same position. Something that is also possible is to uh, end in the T2 position because it's possible to do it R and B moves to swap these two corners and these two corners. So then it will also find elks, but it will be different than the elks from this orientation. So this was a pretty basic um, example. So we'll do a, a new elk. So we're going to try to find elks for this case. And all the elks are from my uh, from the spreadsheet Carter and I made called Scoop Resources. I will put the link in the description. So we can copy the text by um, coming to this cell. And then we can copy the elk right at the top here. And then we can come to rotation here because we have to take the inverse because we have to set up, we have to put the setup right here to generate elks for this case. So we need the inverse and then you can come to this page and here you can select inverse and apply rotation. Then it will apply the inverse. And if the um, elk has Z rotations, you can also use remove Z rotations so that you don't have to worry about ending in a different um, orientation than you started in. So then we copy this output and we put it here in case solve and then we press go and the program will start generating elks. Something I forgot to tell you is that you um, it's best that you always after you generated Elks that you before that you clear this page because now here we also have the previous results so and that can be a bit messy if you generate a lot of cases so we will do it again so here we see the optimal was nine moves but we also searched for 10 move elks because we had select one so this is a bit hard to read and find good elks, and that's why I created another program. So we can copy this whole output and go to Elk Rater right here. Then you can paste the whole output here and press Rate Elks. 
that what it will do is um, it will uh, calculate a score for each elk. Something you must, must know, it's, it isn't perfect. It's an algorithm I wrote that uh, will benefit all the good elks, but they won't be in the correct order. The, the top one won't always be the best one, but all the good ones will end up in the top and all the bad ones will be down there. And what it also does is when the score is zero or lower, it won't show it right here. And something it also does is it rotates it to the most readable way. So as you can see here, that it's very rarely that you find small BMOs because they are hard to read. But sometimes they do, and that's when the elk is 4 gen. So then here you can see the top elk. And it's a kind of good elk. And something you can also do is, as you can see here, you will go back. You will also try to find the cases from a Z2 angle. So now we have generated, I will take the, the sledge example. So we have generated all the elks from this angle. But if we do a Z2, now we are going to try to generate the elks from this angle. As you can see here, the optimal was nine moves. But if we generate new cases, as you can see here, from the Z2 angle, the, move, the optimal move count was actually lower. And so it can actually be useful to, to check if the from the Z2 angle because those IOCs can be pretty good. And I chose this um, case because here the 8 move elk is actually the fastest IOC for me. So it was nice to check the Z2 rotation from here because it's risky because it's 4 gen, but it's actually pretty quick. And then something else I added is cancel uh, for finding cancel elks. So if you put the same output from this, if you put it in here, it will generate, here you have the normal rated output, but here you have all the, you have the output sorted by each move. So what it actually does is we're going to execute the elk. I don't know the elk that's right in there. So what actually does is, what the R move means is that from the end of the setup, from here, everything that's in here will use this move. Everything that's in the big R will use, use the R move. So it's it will use the moves uh, from the angle of the end of the setup and how it calculates the score right here is it will ignore the first move and it will rate the moves after it. So it can be quite useful for uh, finding cancel moves, okay, cancel elks, but it is pretty advanced and I don't think many people are looking for it, but it can be helpful if you want to. So now I've showed you um, everything I want to show for, cancel, uh, for generating elks. If you have any more questions, you can leave it in the description, in the comments, and I will answer them.